Hey, what is up, guys? We're going to go ahead and go over the uh, balance adjustments for Y Young. She's getting a pretty heavy nerf, and yeah, we'll talk about it. So let's go ahead and, uh, if you guys are on new channel, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, I want to know what your guys' honest opinion is about this nerf. So I'm just going to briefly go over it. Hello, this is Epic7. This is a pre-announcement to the pre-balance adjustment for Hwai Young, which will take effect after 1027 update. We will release a separate announcement for other candidates that will be a part of the upcoming 1027 and balance adjustment two weeks before the update. Maybe we get more nerfs. I'm hoping that they just don't nerf only RGBs. There are some MO5s that definitely need to be adjusted. I'm sure we all know who those are, so we'll see. Before we begin, we would like to sincerely apologize for disrupting the balance adjustment that caused to our hair's gameplay. With this in mind, we would like to explain our and guide you through the process of how we came to this balance adjustment decision. It's as much detail as possible. Epic 7's balance adjustment system was focused on improving heroes rather than diminishing them to retain the value of the heroes that our hairs put time and effort into nurturing them. When a hero has too much influence influence on our our response and has always been to make uh, appropriate changes by buffing other heroes via via periodic balance adjustments however although we at epic 7 have tried several different approaching approaches it has become evident that hawaii young is overbearing influence through a large portion of the games and has been difficult to suppress I think this is more so what her best in, best in slot artifact is. I think the Uberus Tooth just needs to be redone and reworked completely from the ground up. That would have helped this a lot, to be honest, because that's like her best in slot. But doing small changes to her too would have helped. So I think instead of just completely like, I'm assuming it's going to tank, like just, just nerfing her to the floor. Instead of just nerfing this unit to the floor, I do think just, you know, removing the initial issue, which is Uberus Tooth, out. And doing some slight nerfs to her kit would have probably paid off well more than just completely nuking this unit to the ground, right? We'll see, though. Um, so, yeah, they explain what they're doing or why they're doing it. Um, so, once again, with a heavy heart, we regret to inform you that Hawaii Young is, will be going through it. balance adjustments. Please see below for planned balance adjustment details. This is why having a test server would be probably healthy for the game. Just saying. So, they're, they're nerfing her S1. Uh, attacks the enemy with a super kick or uh, with a kick when the caster is buffed. A successful attack inflicts additional damage proportional to the caster's attack. Damage dealt increase. Additional damage decrease. So they're removing rather the rather the attack hits or miss. So whether the unit's blue or it doesn't matter. Uh, they're also taking out the combat readiness, so you won't be able to see our boost yourself on this anymore. So that's that's too. Um, I don't mind the regardless of the attack hits, but removing the combat readiness too is kind of like... They could have just nerfed it down to 10% if that was going to be the case. Removing this completely kind of just like makes counter set no longer like an option for her. Wasn't really one anyway, to be honest. It was kind of a meme, but at least with the, the, with the increased combat readiness, you could have potentially ran her in counter set. Her S2. Attack increased by 30%, so they're nerfing this by 20%. Um, this is going to hurt us who are newer to the game by a lot. Not so much the uh, players above, but more so players and masters and maybe early champions because getting perfect gear for units is so annoying, and this was a little crutch for us. So this is going to make it a little bit harder to gear her. Oh, this will make us 20% harder to gear her. Uh, so getting her to the 8, 7 million attack, or not 7 million, 7,000 attack might be harder. Um, I still think you can get over 6,000, but like 7,000 might be a really big stretch. Maybe you can still hit that 6.5. We'll see. Uh, so this is her ultimate um, after awakening. After dispelling all debuffs from the caster, attacks the enemy with a secret technique that will grant immunity to the caster for two turns. When the target's max health is greater than the caster's max health, penetrates the target's defense with a penetration rate increased proportional to the difference up to 100%. Damage dealt increase, required max health difference increase plus one turn cooldown. So they're removing penetrates the target's defense just and the damage dealt increase um, proportional. Okay, so her ultimate should still hit hard on green tanks like Armin. Uh, who else is a green tank? 
I mean, Eula's Yule, whole purpose is to count as, so she's fine. Um, I don't know what this means, if you're going to be able to take out blue tanks. So Shu could be a big issue. I do think so. Uh, Senya might be still killable with her. I don't know how you're going to kill same typing tanks, to be honest. Maybe you can still. Uh, I don't really know what this means for her build. I still think she's going to be built to be high damage off like attack. I still think her build is going to be probably similar, but you're going to have to sacrifice defense on her now, I feel like, to make up the difference. But her S1 is still going to be like pretty bad, so you're going to have to still nuke with her S3. Don't know how much this is going to fix, though. Like Honestly, those with the plus 30 Uber's Tooth will feel less of an impact than most of us because once again uber's tooth is the core issue in my eyes when it look when i look at this unit um because that's the extra little tick of damage that she does that usually kills the opponent right not so much um the the first initial kick obviously this will help that out a lot but like you're still gonna be doing good chunks to green tanks so i don't I like yeah i think she's gonna have a niche pick towards green units exclusively so I don't know what this means for her in the long run, and that they might have to rebuff her in the long run because this seems a little extreme. Honestly, I think I think this could have stayed at 50% if they're going to do this and this. And I also think the combat readiness could have stayed if they had planned, like, if they were going to plan to make, remove this. Maybe. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but right now I just think they're doing a lot to nerf this one unit. Uh, this is a huge nerf. At least when I look at it, right? I don't mind the one turn cooldown, but once again, uh, the, 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 that's just like, we'll see how she plays. I, I don't honestly know. So, the purpose of these balance adjustments is to ensure Hua Young remains uh, specialized in contesting enemies with high health while reducing her exclusive influence as a damage dealer. Also, because her fast turn cycling made her difficult to deal with, she will be adjusted to a similar level as other heroes. This is similar to other heroes. I think this is just straight up nuking the unit, but we'll see. The super uh, super side kick powerful uh, additional damage reduced the viability of low health uh, attack based heroes, high evasion heroes, and heroes with damage reduction effects. To resolve this issue, we plan to add a hit condition to the super uh, sonic kick to reduce the additional damage to compensate for the loss in damage. Honestly, evasion heroes are annoying anyway. To, uh, to be honest, in my opinion, I, I think that's dodge is so dumb. <laughs> we will slightly increase the balance uh, basics skills damage dealt so that it, it will impact an uh, appropriate amount of damage to the accurate hitting target so for green monarch's flame strike penetration will now calculate properly to the difference in max health and the condition to reach 100 percent penetration will be increased while high will still be able to inflict significant amount of damage to the hero's highest max health her damage against those who do not have as much difference in health will be reduced um right so they're also going to be nerfing it by one turn we hope these changes will increase diversity in pp to be used various ways to expand the options and communities from why well the issue is like yes you're nerfing one fire star like fire um five star right yes one of them is being nerfed the issue is you still have so many other blue broken units that fire is just kind of hard to run out run right now because of how strong blues are you got ran you got um who else Shu. you got pira like there's a lot of blue units that are very powerful and i don't think by just nerfing one fire unit it's going to change the meta that much. Yes, one unit gets knocked off the board. The other one just takes your place. Obviously, that's how it's going to work. But if you're going to do this, I feel like nerfing multiple heroes instead of one would have changed the meta a lot more. Just saying. So the announcement to changes to the recall policy covenant. So we're getting a recall. The recall policy pertaining to recalling a covenant hero due to the balance adjustment will reduce their viability will change the hero heroes will now be able to change their recall target another hero with the same grade has been released as the recall starting dates does that mean lua will be in this patch i don't know this adjustment policy will come in effect at the time of five star hero high young high young's balance adjustment so 27th october however characters that are collabs zero eula and yeah we know and love limited heroes yes we know when you proceed with the recall five star hero depending on the memory imprint grade of the recall you will be receiving a new memory imprint hero called mana slate temporary name which can be used for imprinting five star heroes mana slates temporarily cannot be used on 
Um, temporarily names. Okay, so that, yeah, it's going to make it to where you can imprint RGBs exclusively. I'm sure if you want your stuff back, you can um, get the, no, just get, take the memory slate and slap it on another RGB unit, right? This It's fine. So, oh, um, make sure that the units in your storage, or not storage, in your inventory, make sure the units in your inventory before 1027. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want your unknown slates back, I'm sure you can con you can contact customer service. So if you want to do that, go for it. Uh, the purpose of this balance adjustment uh, for High Young is scheduled for an update on October 27th. So we're gonna get more news on the 27th about the upcoming other balance adjustment. So at the end of the month. So one more month of Hawaii Young, and then she'll probably be gone out of the meta for a long while until. She gets a buff in the future because I feel like this will this I feel like this might just kill her out of the meta for very very certain playstyles. I don't know what this means for aggro players. I feel like aggro players can still utilize her maybe, um, but everyone else probably doesn't get to play with her uh, unless you're just cracked out of their minds and has stupid stats because this is gonna hurt her. This is not, this isn't really, yes, this is, hurting, this is hurting the top of the chain too, but this is really hurting the bottom of the chain. When I mean chain, I mean like player base. Like most people that have a mid Hawaii Young like myself, she just became unusable. Those who have top tier Hawaii Youngs should still be able to use her. I'd at least hope if they have maxed out Uber's Tooth, because once again, Uber's Tooth was the core issue in my opinion with her. It's the, that thing just is extra damage on top of damage. I think nerfing the artifact would have probably been more justified than just going and nuking this unit. I do think that she needed nerfs, but at the same time, I think nerfing the core issue, which was the artifact, would have fixed a lot more of this. I feel like a lot of this could have been avoided if they just nerfed the artifact, along with minor changes to her, right? Maybe, but we'll see. Only the future will tell if this unit is actually usable or not. But at the moment, when I look at these nerfs, I see us master players, champion players of mid Hua Young's just not using her anymore, and those with top of the top still using her, but in maybe very certain situations. She just became a very niche pick. So I think I think the Lolly Robbie just took her spot. So Fire Robbie's taking her spot probably um, when it comes to just being a fire damage healer. I'm working on my fire hand guy, so that's that's fortunate that I'm working on fire hand guy because. Um, Maybe he'll get buffed in the next patch, who knows. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these nerfs in the comments below. Um, I, once again, I'm cool with this. I just wish they didn't go to ex such extreme measures. I feel like they should have just slightly tuned her down instead of just completely overdo, like, instead of like, just completely nerfing every piece of her kit. I feel like they should have just picked and chose to nerf some things out of it, like maybe her S1, and then maybe just left the S2 alone a little bit and then maybe adjusted the S3 slightly. Like, I think adding the one turn cooldown, removing the hit thing what could have been the first pre-nerf. And then if that was still too much, they could have went through and nerfed down her S2 to 40%. And then, you know, like baby step it. But instead of baby stepping, they just, they just said YOLO and just said, why young never? <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like baby steps would have been better in this situation, but I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.